In states to our west, there's a decades-long drought. It hit Lake Powell so hard, there's concern the water level could fall so far it can no longer generate power. So now Colorado's Blue Mesa Reservoir will be tapped to help out, even though it's very low, too, with some boat ramps closed. Alan Janae with more tonight on the water crunch here in the west. Alan? Well, Jim, 80% of Colorado's water flows down the western slope, while 80% of us live on the east side of the Continental Divide. We could certainly use that water. The Blue Mesa is already suffering from a low snowpack year, but Lake Powell is in desperate condition. But in the long run, a lot of this could affect a lot of us. They are Colorado's salmon. Trying to spawn up here. Kokanee, freshwater fish Robbie Richardson guides for in the Blue Mesa Reservoir. So flows are lower. All of that just puts extra stress on the fish. Fish trying to seek cooler water, and they need oxygen. The lake is usually under this bridge. Coming off a low snowpack, the reservoir is already way down. And now it starts way down there. Now the Federal Bureau of Reclamation might pull the Blue Mesa down another eight feet. Lake Powell and Lake Mead are now going to be below 30% full by mid next year. Brad Udall is a research scientist at CSU. People are still having a hard time in the water community grasping just how bad this might be. A 22 year drought in the West means Colorado's 99 year old water compact with other Western states means more demand for water from the Colorado River system to lower basins like Lake Powell. But that's no longer so easy. There was never the idea that the upper basin should bear the entire brunt of climate change. In the 20th century, there were a lot more wet years. Now we're getting about half of the, the wet years that we previously got. With poor runoff, Lake Powell is starved. And another bad year ahead could mean a new look at sharing. Katie, bar the door. I mean, we're, we're going to have some real hard, long discussions about how we're using the water we're using, where it's going. And maybe some of the biggest consequences could come on agriculture. Ag uses about 70% of our water. And Udall, who is the brother of former Senator Mark Udall, by the way, believes this might be a bit of a test release, meaning if things are bad next year, we could be sending a lot more water to the bone-dry west. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First. On the